Let us study about hell. What is hell? Hell is everlasting fire. We know that according to Ezekiel 13, uh, 33 to 11, that God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. On the day of judgment, the wicked are reserved for the day of judgment. According to Second Peter 2 is to 9. On this day of judgment, the earth will become a lake of fire, which is hell, which will destroy the wicked and the present world. The destruction is called the second death. The wages of the sin are the second death. The soul that sins will die a second death according to Ezekiel 18 is to 4. Sodom and Gomorrah were an example of eternal fire according to Jude 7. Sodom and Gomorrah are now ashes. Radiation was found in the soil at the site of these cities by Russian scientists. So according to Jeremiah 17 is to 27, the palaces and the temple of Jerusalem were devoured by unquenchable fire. Matthew 25 is to 46, Christ says everlasting punishment or the total destruction, not everlasting, punishing. Okay, this is the everlasting fire which is the hell. When will this hell take place? How do we know that? If you read John 5 is to 28 to 29, the wicked are called forth from the grave at the second resurrection, which is called the resurrection of damnation. According to Revelation 26 is to 10, this second resurrection is at the end of the thousand years. Who will be destroyed in the hell? Let's read Second Thessalonians 1, 7 is to 9. The wicked are punished on the day of the judgment by everlasting destruction. And according to Matthew 25 is to 41, the devil and his evil angels are destroyed in the same everlasting fire of destruction. According to Isaiah 66 is to 24 says, Carcasses are the dead bodies, the fire and the worms are the elements of destruction that eat up the dead bodies is the second death. That is in the second death. Now what is the final result about it? Both body and soul are destroyed in hell fire, according to Revelation 20 is to 5 to 6 and Revelation 11 is to 15. And the wicked shall be stubble, neither root of a Satan nor branch his followers will be left, which says in Malachi 4 is to 1. The wicked will be as though they had not been seen. The wicked will be like ashes under the righteous feet, which says in Malachi 4 is to 3. Yet the destruction is as if it were torment day and night forever and ever. That's the description of the final result of the wicked person in Revelation 20 is to 10 is described. The covering cherub, which is nothing but the devil, will be ashes upon the earth, according to Ezekiel 28, 6 is to 18, and then continued with 19. So, so that the sin will not rise again, we see that in Nahum 1 is to 9. That's why John 3 to 16 says, Whoever believes, truly believes on the Son of God will not perish. The fire that consumes the wicked purifies the earth. 
Every trace of the curse is swept away. No eternally burning hell will keep before the random and the ransomed fearful consequences of sin. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day.